Hey guys, we performed an LED lighting experiment and we did it at the local 537. That's the Boston Pipe Fitters training facility. Brand new building being built right now. So what, what we wanted to do is we were really interested to see how well the Milwaukee 2155 AC temporary sight light worked. It's a 70 watt LED sight light and it we were just wanted to put it in a commercial job site and see how well it paired up. So specifically, we wanted to look at a couple of things. Cost, obviously, functionality. I really wanted to know how long it took to, to wire this up. Cost to run it, quality of light, and longevity. So the LED light itself, it's a high quality device. Really heavy duty plastic, polycarbonate. It comes with an attached AC cord. Milwaukee actually built a stress relief into the side of the case and it actually holds that AC cord really effectively. So you can just plug this in and use it right out of the box. Unfortunately, we needed to use an existing Romex cable system that was installed between the rooms. So that AC cord was the first, first modification that we had to make to the light. It was easy to do. Basically, the stress release was undone with two captured screws and the cord was easily removed once we did that from the terminal blocks. Speaking of the terminal blocks, Milwaukee built in a heavy duty terminal block that is set up for quick wiring from 120 all the way up to, I think it's 270 volts. And the cavity itself where the terminal block is acts as an integrated reusable junction box. So from the time the electrician started wiring the light all the way to the point where he actually hung it on the cable and a built in wire cable took less than three minutes. And we had four units up in 15 minutes. That's impressive. Milwaukee really thought this through, especially um, <clears throat> especially on the wiring part of the lights, right? So they have a built-in chase in the in this um, in this terminal block that it's just so fast, so easy to use. So while our Romex cable system wasn't daisy chained from fixture to fixture, the 2155 actually comes ready to go if you want to do back-to-back -back terminal block. And you can daisy chain this. It's got this back-to-back -back thing. Um, the hanging of the fixture on the ceiling is simple. And basically, Milwaukee uses this integrated cable. It's, it's connected to one side. It goes, you loop it around and you slide it through and it's like a snap-in fitting. It works beautiful. The uh, 2155 is also has a substantial and more rugged mounting system than anything I've ever seen on these construction lights that are out there right now. Um, and while I doubt you'll break the polycarbonate lens, it is replaceable. Easy, easy to replace and, and, and replace it. The light itself weighs 7.7 .7 pounds. And I can tell you right now, just by handling these things, they can take the wear and tear um, and they're gonna stay in place other than some of these ordinary temporary lights that we use. No more busted bulbs, no more warm up times. That's probably the biggest annoying, the warm up with the metal halide. Um, and best part guys, these lights, you can remove them, you can stack them on top of each other, store them, transport them. You're not worried about fragile, transporting fragile bulbs and they always break. On this site, we also had metal halide lighting and we also had some incandescent string lights. They were mixed in. Um, and guys, what happens when a careless lift operator runs into any of those installations, right? Gotta call the electrician, they have to come remove the light, replace the bulbs, rehang the light. It, it's a lot of time and effort and it's aggravation for a couple of the different trades that have to deal with it. One of the aspects of temporary sight lighting is cost. So we often use those cheap plastic enclosed and concession string lights, right? A lot of folks use those now. Um, clearly, if you compare the cost of that to the Milwaukee light, the string lights are less expensive to purchase than the high quality 2155 LED fixture. But the 2155 is substantially brighter and will require less lights, fewer lights, especially in an open, open construction floor area. Also, the 2155 runs cooler, it ramps up faster than some of the bulbs that are out there and uses less electricity than incandescent bulbs. And to get my head wrapped around that, I did a little bit of, I put a little uh, example together. The LED light, it runs at 70 watts and it puts out 7,000 lumens. That's the equivalent to a 150 watt fluorescent bulb. So, you know, it's, 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 it's running cheaper. The LED light itself, the array on the light, it lasts 50,000 lifetime hours. So in our pipe fitters training center in the high bay areas, the electrical contractor was using a, um, a system, a 400 watt metal halide high bay fixture system. These fixtures, they put out 36,000 lumen and are supposed to last 15,000 hours. 
Well, that's if they last that long, because they usually break, and you can't transport them. They always break. But at 7,500 hours, if it lasts that long, a metal halide life, life of that bulb is actually loses half of its lumen. So real lifetime use of that bulb is probably somewhere in the vicinity of 5,000 useful lifetime hours. And let's not forget that horrible lighting ramp up time or one bump and it's done or an overspray from fireproofing and pff, boom, the bulb explodes, it's gone. So in this case, the relative cost difference between an initial fixture purchase is minimal and it doesn't favor the Milwaukee 2155. However, if you change one high bay metal halide bulb due to wear and tear on the job site, transport, braking, whatever, the scale is definitely in favor of the Milwaukee fixture. It, it just twists right back. So we all know that a construction environment can be brutal on lighting, right? Um, metal halide bulbs don't last long. They never do. We also liked the LED light output on the 2155. And when we looked at a room that had two incandescent temp lights, and we measured the illumination at a workbench level height. And right below it, we, we measured it, and we measured it at 25.7 lux, right under a fixture. In an adjacent room with one of the 2155 fixtures, we did the same thing, and we measured the light intensity at 623 lux. So clearly, the intensity of the light is way superior. In summary, the LED lighting experiment with the 2155 fixtures, we feel it was an overwhelming success. We installed the fixtures, in a very short time, the installation and the running of them is safer. The unit is more robust. It virtually eliminates on-site maintenance. There's no bumped bulbs or changing bulbs out. And the light quality is outstanding. In comparison to the high bay temporary lighting installations, the Milwaukee 2155 is at par or better over the life of the project. Not initial purchase, but over the life, like an investment. So I'll, I'll sum it up, easy setup, Instant light, no ramp up time, and no maintenance. I don't know about I don't know about you guys, but I certainly feel enlightened. I'm Rob Robillard. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we had a lot of fun uh, at the Pipe Fitters Training Facility, and we'll see you at the next review. Take care.